Hey, ladies. Morning, girls. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Everybody's coming. It's OK. It's OK. Giraffes are amazing, <laughs> but I am biased. We have the Rothschild giraffe. They live in Sub-Saharan Africa. Giraffes are going through a really uh, silent extinction is what we're calling it. The Rothschild specifically, there's only about 1,800 left in the wild. You don't really see a lot of ads for save the giraffe, save the giraffe, but they actually really, really need our protection right now. Giraffes are beautiful, elegant animals, but they're not terribly bright. Come on, let's go. Come on, Mama, let's go. Giraffe are harder species to train. Come on. They can be stubborn. They can be very easily distracted. Come on. The camera crew would definitely be picked up on. You guys just want to stand. Yeah, stand over here just so I can. Sukari, come on, Mama. Come on, it's OK. They move when they want to move, and you kind of have to take it as it goes. Good girl. We've always found that giraffes here are kind of cautious animals. The one exception is you to it. Here he comes. Come on, you two. Come on, bud. You two is one of my favorites in the giraffe herd. He actually functions as our best animal ambassador for giraffes. I mean, you can't help but be in awe of an animal like this. You too. Come here. Good boy. Can you target for me? He's also a really great training animal. Good boy. What we're doing right now is a mock hoof trim. All right, left foot. Basically, when we train hoof work, we are just training them to our touch or training them to put their hoof on the block. So that way, when we need their hoof trimmed, that's when they'll come in. Right foot. Good boy. In order to trim the giraffe's hooves, we have to get them into a squeeze or a shoot because they are very, very powerful. They can actually crush a lion's skull with their kick. So we don't want to be anywhere near that. The shoe is great in the fact that we can work safely with the giraffe. It's less stress on them, less stress on us. So we don't, you know, get a hoof in the face or anything. Come on, buddy. Good boy. All the way in. Good boy. Backing up. We are in the process of making a shoe indoors. And here in New York, we get all four seasons. Um, and the giraffe can't be out in, you know, all elements. So this shoot would be great to be inside and just protected. Of Left foot. Left foot, Sukari. Come on, Mama. Trying to work with a giraffe in a situation where you can move around freely in an indoor space is challenging because the animal can move around. It could injure the keeper either intentionally or unintentionally. She's eating. She's watching you. She's stopping. Sukari, it's all right. We have to come up with different ways in order for us to work with them. It's just not a good angle, no matter where you go. And that's why the shoot is such a great idea. Steady, Safari. The guys in the machine shop are starting to work on our new indoor giraffe shoot. My name is Stephen Cozy. I work here at the Bronx Zoo in the metal shop. I've been working at the Bronx Zoo almost nine years. And I love working here. You never know what you're going to be working on. So anything metal, we, we take care of. Don't know about electricity stuff, not a plumber, just machine shop metal, that's all. My job here is to make everything look pretty. There was a lot of conversation between us and uh, keepers. They wanted this confined space. And using aluminum was the way to go. It's light and it's strong. We're really happy with the design. It takes up no space. It folds up against the walls. There's doors and partitions that open up at different parts of the side panel, so it allows us access to different parts of the draft. You two will be our first draft to use the chute. Since he is such an easygoing animal, I, I have faith that he will do well. He's like our test pilot. Yeah. <laughs> 
here and finish with this giraffe shoot, so I thought you'd want to see it. Pretty good. It's great. The indoor shoot that we just built is basically an improvement on the shoot that we had already. We have one that's just outside of the building, but of course, the winters in New York sometimes are severe, so it's harder to use that year round. You know, we get you two going through, we can come back and take a look. It's really neat. A little bit more. That's great. On YouTube. On YouTube. There he is. Good boy. A smooth run would be that he would maybe take a moment to look at the door being closed and then decide to come right in. Come here. You too. Come here. You're a cheater. He's a little uneasy, but uh, it's really important that he learns how to do this. You can do it. Go ahead, buddy. Whatever we do with him will benefit the group because if we have success with him, we know it's possible. Come here. Good boy, come. New target. Nice job, buddy. Doing great. Pretty, pretty unfazed by this. Left foot, target. Steady. Boy. We were hopeful that he was just gonna walk right through and he did. We were actually very, very happy. We we're hoping that that is a precursor for what is about to happen with the herd. Good boy. Good boy. Just do the way you would do. Yeah, just shave a little Steady. bit. Good boy. The herd can use it for hoof trims and veterinary procedures. So the shoot will make it easier and safer for us to work with them. All right, and, and that's it? Go. Yep, we'll good, call that good. Good boy. Did very well. We can build what we think we need, but if the giraffe doesn't want to accept it, uh, it it's not going to provide the service that we need it to do. So the fact that you two walk through it like a champ and accepts it, I mean, that's success for the project.